Oh no! Not another chocolate company! I feel a boycott coming on! Welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Yes, yes, another chocolate company has taken a dive, I guess you could say. It sounds like they're going to anyway. So another beloved chocolate company is going woke, I guess you could say, or at least going against the Supreme Court. I will... Uh, read you this article real quick this week. It really pains me because this is one of those American uh, like apple pie and baseball and all that kind of things. And of course from Zero Hedge not a lot of people are covering this. I uh, happen to come across this I don't remember where I came across it. I watched so much stuff. Hershey tells unvaccinated employees to hit the highway. Now, that's bad enough. But wait till you get to the end, to, to the rest of this. Because it's, it's not just getting fired for not getting vaccinated. The Hershey company has begun firing office workers who did not get vaccinated against COVID-19. On the way out the door, Hershey is asking employees to sign a nine-page confidentiality and release agreement that would remove their rights to the to sue the company or talk about their experience. You usually sign a non-disclosure act when you get hired. Once you get fired or especially in this case all bets are off and I guarantee you I wouldn't be signing that. Now um Although their signature comes with a special separation payment, which you couldn't pay me enough to uh, not be able to tell my story, many have not signed the agreement and won't get the money. Employees say that the payment was determined by an algorithm and for some amounted to just over two months pay. Yeah, not good enough. Not good enough. By most accounts, actually to be honest with you, I hope that these people do sue. Hershey over this. This is wrongful termination. It is. By most accounts, working at Hershey was a great job, I can imagine. Employees at the Hershey, Pennsylvania headquarters and at offices in other states report higher than average wages, wages and bowls of candy placed around the offices for snacking. That's kind of dangerous. During holidays, employees would get a big bag of treats to take home, although that practice stopped after Easter 2021. There is a sample room for trying new products, colorful graphics decorating the walls, and the products are more than are more fun than selling insurance. I would venture to say anything's more fun than selling insurance. I used to sell insurance. And well, I was going to say just like anything else, you say the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. You only have so many companies that you deal with and they all deal with the same rules and regulations. Once again, like I told you before, insurance is regulated by the government. So when you're dealing with the insurance companies, you're dealing with the government. They're one and the same pretty much. But it stopped being fun after months of human resources meetings that employees say included education about the vaccines, asking if the employee had changed their mind about getting the shots and uncomfortably invasive questions. I really thought I'd be okay, Kim Durham, a payment analyst and sourcing buyer, told the Epic Times. I thought you cannot question my faith. Nobody can question that. Durham asked for a religious accommodation in August and assumed she would get it. I thought this was behind me until September when I met an HR representative. It was an interrogation on your religious beliefs. They twisted your words and tried to put words in your mouth. It was terrible. I was asked such personal questions that had nothing to do with religion. She was shocked when in November she received word that her request for religious accommodation had been denied. Again, against the Constitution. The Epic Times interviewed two other Hershey employees who are in their final days with the company and didn't want their names used until they are fully separated, for real, uh, for fear of losing certain benefits. They must have signed it. 
Everyone interviewed mentioned being troubled by similar questions during the meetings, usually held with an immediate supervisor and someone from HR such as, have you ever been vaccinated? Are your children vaccinated? How do you protect yourself when you leave your home? How often do you go to church? Do you take Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Tums, or Midol? If so, how can you say that you're truly a religious person? Because a lot of those medicines also have the same ingredients as the vaccine. Several people were told that the Pope is vaccinated, and he says that the greatest gift you can give your community is to be vaccinated as well. The Pope, huh? Man, they're, te they're doing everything they can. I guess they think people are just as superstitious as they used to be back in the old days, if you will. One new parent submitted their baby's birth certificate and other, and other papers to set up insurance and was asked why the baby was had received vaccinations if the parent wouldn't give the COVID shot, wouldn't get the COVID shots. Why does that have to do with me keeping my job? From the time we started this ordeal, we had... We have had seven meetings but my, about my vaccination status, one employee said. It was like harassment. I felt like I wanted to crawl under a rock when I was done. Wow, man, who are these HR people? While office workers must be vaccinated or fired, employees working in food production and chocolate world, the company's retail outlet stores, are encouraged but not required to get the vaccination. Durham had been working from home since March 2020, except for once every two weeks when her tasks required her to be in the office. But even when she was there, it was just a skeleton crew of in-person co-workers. Everyone had a temperature check before entering the building, and masking was mandatory. That's typical. It has been uh, for some of the places that uh, I've also worked at. Um, not very many, though. Texas. Hershey required employees to be vaccinated by October the 4th, and when she was still unvaccinated on October the 5th, she was told she was no longer allowed in the building. But she continued working until January, and t after her last day, the company sent an empty box to her home so she could ship her work equipment back to them. We are losing our jobs over this vaccine policy, Durham said. It's just wrong that a company can terminate you and you lose your livelihood. This should not be forced. That's why I say they're totally ignoring the uh, Supreme Court in this aspect. Not to mention the fact that this is pure and simple discrimination. I'm hearing about it all over the place. Some employees trained their replacements only to find their replacements would continue working remotely. <laughs> If a company told me that I was getting ready to train my replacement, I'd be, see ya. I don't give a, give, don't give a damn about the, the uh, severance pay or any of that stuff. Jobs are a dime a dozen. I've always been very self-reliant. I can always do something or another to make money and feed myself. But I, what is it with these jobs? I, I, you know, I, I think it's a terrible thing that a lot of people are quitting their jobs. But if this is the kind of treatment that they're getting, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I mean, do or die. And it's like, you know, you only work eight hours a day, you know, 40 hours a week. You still have another hundred and whatever hours to do on your own time. Now, half of that is sleeping, of course. But then again, like I say, you don't live for your office or your job or your work. You shouldn't have to either. And some of these questions that the HR is asking is really none of their business. And actually, if anybody else complained about being asked those kinds of questions to the HR, they would probably fire them. It's harassment. You're working. This is not, you know, your personal life and your work has nothing to do with each other and shouldn't. You get into serious, you used to get into serious trouble for trying to combine the two. In fact, case in point, Jeff Sucker and his girlfriend of 20 years. But don't get me distracted. The separation agreement Hershey gave employees prohibits those who sign it from disclosing the existence, terms, and conditions of the agreement, including the details of their separation from employment. 
The agreement contains a broad non-disparagement clause and is also and it also releases Hershey from liability for all legally waivable claims. Hershey did not respond to requests for comment or to provide information about how many people have been fired. Well, of course not. They're not going to either. Don't hold your breath for that information. Employees estimate 1,400 workers applied for a religious exemption. It is unknown if any were granted. Again, something else they don't want you to know. Something else that they... Well, the main reason they don't want you to know it is because of the fact that, again, they're going against the Constitution. They can be sued for that. I know people who got the vaccine just to keep their job. It wasn't something they wanted to do, but they needed the job, Durham said. I need the job too, but I'm not going to do something I don't feel comfortable doing, just keeping my job. And that's never the way it should be. Well, I don't know about anybody else and I would never ever venture to tell anybody else what to do, but Hershey's never getting another dime of my money. In fact, it was one of my husband's favorites and he's even like, I'm going to Giardelli. Works for me. Uh, another American pastime ruined by leftism, evidently. In fact, stuff like this is the stuff of viral videos. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to hear what some of these people are... A lot of times they complain on TikTok. So I uh, will try to... I'll try to keep up with that story if I can. Like I say, there's a whole bunch of people that were getting fired from that and literally being asked to sign away their rights to talk about it. Sign away their First Amendment rights. And you know damn well it's because these companies, a lot of them are getting subsidized by the government. Government's the only one that really wants everybody to take all these damn vaccines and everything like that. Why do you think that they keep putting Fauci up there in front of everyone? Well, I don't recommend, I don't not recommend. I'm not a doctor, I'm not trying to give medical advice or any of that kind of stuff, but it should be up to you. You know, they scream and yell about this abortion thing, and the thing is, is it's not even the woman's body. Once there's a second person in your body, it's not your body anymore. But they're all all up in arms and all, all fine with and all anxious to go and kill babies, but they're not going to let you choose whether or not you get a stick in your arm. Nah, I'm not buying it. Not buying it. And shame on you, Hershey's. Another American, another American pastime ruined. I hope those people that got fired because of this do sue and try and sue them for everything you can think of, including discrimination. This is ridiculous. Your company doesn't own you. You need to make sure that they know this. Like I say, you guys have, don't sign these paperwork. You have more than enough legal grounds to sue them over this. And it'll be a lot more than any severance pay or promise of jobs that they ever give you. <sighs> well, just another company that's showing their true colors and definitely letting people know that they don't care about their workers. All they want is government compliance and profits. In fact, those of you that are working there that did get the uh, jab and all of that, the minute you die or the minute that, they, that you quit, they'll have you replaced just like that. It wouldn't, it doesn't even matter. So these places are too powerful. You guys need to start standing up to them. There are jobs everywhere. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Uh, regular Saturday video. Um, if you'd like to see me continue this work, I've actually just found out why my live feeds keep crashing. And it was what I suspected. Uh, I fixed the OBS problem, but uh, I'm going to have to get some new equipment. So again, if you like what you see and you enjoy my live feeds, please make sure that you support the channel by liking, subscribing, commenting, uh, and sharing. 
And of course, a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below. Please click on some of them, will ya? Also, don't forget, 7 o'clock p.m. Thursday night, Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 o'clock Mountain Time, and 5 o'clock Avocado Time, the live call-in talk show, Talk to Me America, live on YouTube and Odyssey. The world wants to know what you have to say, so call me and tell them like it is. So make sure that you tune in on Thursday nights, 7 p.m. I actually tried to choose a night where not everybody, not all of our favorites were streaming, although everybody streams every day. So, you know, I tried to stick myself in there somewhere. I appreciate everybody that has, call, has called. I appreciate everybody that has come and seen the show. I appreciate everybody that has donated and shared and all that good stuff like that there. Do appreciate you all. And I'm coming up on my 10th show. Uh, this next Thursday coming up, I am going to be doing my 10th show. 10 shows already. I can't believe it. I've had a shitload of people ask me, what's in the drawers behind me? So we're going to have a little party on the 10th show uh, for a little while. I'm going to show you some things. And if, you're, if you'd like to have them, you make a donation and we'll send them out to you. So, and it, actually there's some pretty neat stuff. All of it's all of it's handmade by me. And if not handmade, it was refurbished or restored by me. Uh, I used to be a recycle artist. I'm sure some people already know that. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll be pulling some cool things out of these drawers. And of course, if you're interested, you make a donation to me. And get with me with your address. And I'll ship it out to you. Maybe even with another little goodie. So, don't forget 7 o'clock. Make sure you join me. Because we're going to have a little bit of fun with the drawers behind me. Uh, actually, it makes a really good set. Uh, I love it. It's great for storage. It helped me with my inventory when I was when I was doing uh, when I was on Etsy, selling things and all of that. So now we're gonna have some fun with it. It'll be my cool backdrop, and we'll have some fun with some of the things that are in there. You might even get some if you want. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.